some people do not understand why I don't think it's safe for government to have too much power compared to the people. I have a little fictional story to tell you, and this is an example of why power should not be so consolidated that it only serves a few. We will start with the economy. Say a small group of people have control of the economy. If you've ever played video games, you know how much power that can be and why it matters. Who has control of that? That's why I think certain games should be in school. But anyway, um, that's like a major stranglehold over any state. Now imagine you have it all over the world. That's a lot of power. Okay, besides that, what else? We should consider what kind of beliefs people have who hold what titles. Okay, so people are put in a very powerful position. Wouldn't you want them to have beliefs that maybe are safe for other people? Given money does grant man a great deal of power and even, you know, influence. But these people might not care. So they might even be in under generational curses where their parents did something. It's a learned behavior. Kind of like normalization, but, but when you're first programmed, you know, as a child. So whatever happens, they might not even remember and it might subconsciously have already set their pattern. And it's harder, I guess, to reprogram your mind when you don't know what it was. You haven't discovered where to put the key, so to speak, and so that you can fix that. And reprogramming the mind does take a bit, but it takes a bit longer when you're actually having to, you know, change your belief system. And that also, breaking generational curses, it takes a lot of strength and courage. And some people are called to do that. And they'll free, you know, not just the generations to come, but think of how you'd probably make your ancestors smile and God smile, I would think. But that's just, you know, something that's a bonus to me, to each their own. Say these people are not capable, for whatever reason, of breaking these cycles that they were taught. And they're really unhealthy. Well, they've already got the money and... They actually are clever. They use money in order to grow power. Influence can be power. And they hold positions of authority. So it shows on some of them. Others, I can understand, would prefer not even be out in the light. They prefer stay back. Regardless, when you believe something, you do things. And you do it because you believe this certain thing. If this behavior is detrimental to everybody, even technically the group, but they're addicted because they're so programmed, it's dangerous to have people any people, really, I would think, but especially a group like that, consolidating power, they could do anything if, you know, they were to gain control of, you know, Congress, um, media. And, you know, we remember when all of Hollywood kind of came into YouTube and 
they did have gatekeepers back then, but there are a lot more now. And uh, so say they actually had control of YouTube. <sighs> they could actually set information up in a way to make people believe certain things, just like with the TV. Majorly, it's a trance. It's still the box, even if it's on the phone or whatever. It's still the trance. And we're basically choosing what trance we wish to partake in. As somebody who has a healthy enjoyment of certain chaos, like I love in video games, really. Like I love when it's crazy and lots of enemies and you know 4v4 so there's all sorts of wild stuff going on but uh off of video games i'm pretty chill and mellow but um as someone who can appreciate that i do understand that it might not sound like the funnest thing but i think everybody each individual deserves to invest a little bit of their time to themselves and I would challenge you just one video a day. If you're somebody who watches a ton of videos, just one video a day. Something with self-help that you know will actually better your life. Invest in you. Also, with certain controls, say, Say all the people in the government who hated, I don't know, a certain race of people or or blonde-haired people or brown-eyed people, whatever. You know, they hated a certain group of people. And they could use that trance box in order to literally trick people into walking into their own like where they're going to be slaughtered so that's why I stress thinking for yourself God he does he gave us the world he's supposed to live through us and we're supposed to make stuff happen I don't have as many works as I'd like to have under my belt, but I I do know that when I pray, God hears. That's one thing I do know. And I don't really talk about him a lot. He's something, though, I can talk about and never get bored. And that's, that's kind of hard for me because I have to jump from subject to subject sometimes unless I just found something out and I'm super like, ooh, ooh, I need to know, I need to know. Yeah, uh, just be careful what you believe because not everything is what it seems. And I hope you guys have a great day or evening or night. Toodles.